oh, this is, uh, I, I found these people waiting for the bus in, in downtown LA and I asked if I could take their photos with the big eight by 10 Polaroid films. Uh, her name was Vera. Um, and you know, like most people do, they were kind of tripped out by the big camera. And why is there a guy at a, at a bus stop with a big old antique eight by 10 camera? <laughs> this guy was somewhere in California. He was a pumpkin patch uh, 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 attendant. And so I just basically, I went from being very stuck in the studio. I was using a lot of lighting um, and really just trying to understand um, photography because I was working on movies and I was starting to get more into photography and uh, I wanted to learn everything uh, that there is to know about lighting, metering. So I was using Aeroflex movie lights, I was using strobe lights and it was a lot of trial and error and a lot of sort of backdrop portraiture and, and I sort of, it helped me a lot to kind of go through those early technical stages. And, um, but once I hit the road, and I'm just kind of documenting whatever I'm seeing. Um, I really started to get that bug for being out on the road and uh, kind of exploring uh, these three fishermen, the one drinking beer. Um, I don't even think they realized I was behind them with my huge eight by 10 camera under the dark cloth. Um, that guy was really sweet. But uh, yeah, again, this was when you could buy fresh eight by 10 Polaroid film for you know, a couple hundred bucks a box. And now of course on eBay, people are trying to sell it for as much as 1500 bucks. Yeah. And it's not reliable because of the chemistry, it goes bad. Uh, that's in Yosemite. So this is all 2006, 2007. Um, and again, my first time kind of being outside of a studio with wanting to kind of explore what's out there in mind. And uh, I was hooked from that point on. 